Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about Java util function dot function. Actually, there is one function interface in a functional interface in Java 8. So why we need to use that and how we will use that? That's our yeah our subject to, for today. So basically, uh, why we need function function what it will do actually function will convert one form into another form so if you are passing a list of uh, students with the name and name and age or name and mark or something like that then we need to convert into another list like uh, people uh, students with only names so basically we can do that so in this example i will show you that exactly that one i mean uh, i will pass a student with uh, name and mark i need only to return back the name from that student class student of student list of students so um, yeah, so right now I am in IntelliJ idea, so I will create a class and I will mention it like function testing. Okay, so basically we will start from the root element. So I will have a student class and I will have a string name and string three okay so here i will make some yeah or insert so basically i can have constructor with two of this one i guess that's enough right now then I will go here. So here, here what I will do? I will create a public static void main. Okay, inside that. Okay, instead of that what I will do is I need a list of a list of students. <coughs> students then how I will pass a list of students here. Okay. So, arrays, array, yeah, arrays. We, we need to use arrays to list. Arrays, as list. Oh, sorry, not to list. As list. Then, what I will do? we need so many students right so one student i will create like name one and i need another one name 2 with 77 k or whatever and i am closing this and i'm also closing this one so right now we have some issues here okay so this is a problem okay i will make it as integer
Okay, I know yeah. it looks like everything fine right now. Yeah. Right now we need only two students. That's enough right now for right now. Okay, then what we will do next is we'll create a function. So here is the scenario we are using function and function what we will going to pass is student and what we will return is a string okay and and i will make student to name okay and we are passing here we are passing we can yeah make it as a lambda expression and here student yes okay and yes, dot kit name okay we have some issues here we need getter and setter for this one in um, okay right now everything is fine actually we don't need this one right we don't need okay I guess everything is fine right now probably I can yeah that's fine then I have a list of employees and a list of students then I need the list of Okay. I'm creating another method. It's a static method and it will create and return a list of string. Convert to name list. What I am passing here? Here I will pass a list of students. So should be a list of students and what else I need to pass. I need to pass that function also. So we just create a function. I need to pass that function also here and inside that method I will do something okay so here we are so instead of that method what I am going to do is I need a return type of list string that we all know that so I am taking that one and keeping here and I will result or something whatever name you can so new array list so I create that array list. So this is the result that I need. The next thing probably I need that I need to pass through all the list, right? So basically I am getting a list of children here. So it's very easy actually. I'm going to stream this one. I'm going to for each this one 
in for each what I will going to do that's a thing so I'm going to be here for each I will get a student here and I am taking that student myself dot add yes dot get name let's see whether it's work or not so actually I stream and I am adding that result into this one and return that's it <coughs> so this is uh, the way that we need to do but we don't need to do this here because we have already this function so we can use that one with apply here so apply student <coughs> so right now we are okay right now so, uh, but I didn't call this one so I need to call this one here right yeah I need to call this one here so I will have a list of string names a local variable and I am going to for each one no I can just call this method is fine and we have already these items shouldn't already there and also the function is there we are just passing that into the method and right now we got names what I will do this names so for each okay so yes from our side I guess basically I will run this program to make sure whether it's working fine or not so yeah it's working fine we got the result so it's very easy so uh, only one thing we need to consider here the function is using to convert <coughs> one yeah one item to another one so basically I am receiving here a student and it will return the get name so it's very easy program everyone can do this one I guess so yeah that's it okay so so that's it <clears throat>